today we are going to learn about PID3 which is nothing but patient identifier list so patient identifier list is nothing but the pin number or roll number for that particular patient which it can be identified so specifically if we look into the patient identifier over here you can see some multiple random digit number okay so it would be in this PID uh, segment and uh, PID3 so if you ask me what it is actually so it can be anything it can be a medical record number of a particular patient or it can be a social security number of a patient or national health service number of the patient depending on the country for example if you are living in different countries it can be your other card pan card whatever it is but it is used to identify that particular patient so why it is importantly or mostly used for this it's mostly used because for example if you are admitted in hospital number one and if if you have been transferred to other hospital or other uh, location they should be able to identify your past data history and everything so it is very very helpful uh, to identify a particular patient and even if it's for example if you are located at this particular uh, hospital or any particular specific region and if your data is being transferred to different other departments department 1 and department 2 oncology radiology whatever it is so that would be helpful to identify you uniquely so that's where a patient identifier will be helpful it's like uh, when, our, when we study in a school we have a pin number or roll number right it's a, it's completely like that it is very uniquely identified and you have your own patient ID and when we come to what is alternate patient ID we'll discuss even this so this is used to discuss about the authority which has assigned this particular patient ID means for example who has assigned this patient ID it might be anything like uh, the MRN or social security number your government anyone who has assigned that particular patient ID so PID4 represent who actually assigned that particular uh, patient ID or like uh, the number has been created in which database that will actually help us to tell how this patient has been assigned this particular number it can be anything like uh, the government health department who assigned that number or like the insurance company who has assigned that number it can be anything so that will really help us to identify who assigned the patient ID for this particular patient and which authority has assigned it that's it and we'll be discussing few more points about uh, important uh, fields in the pit segment and we'll close this uh, train of sessions as soon as possible completely and dig deep into other uh, technical details later if we have any specific doubts regarding any fields we can discuss